Hello, this is Chris Neal from South Plains College. Welcome back to my Pro Tools how-to video series for MIDI 1. The following video is on the pencil tool. In this video, we'll be covering the different options available when editing with the pencil tool, which is referred to as a smart tool for MIDI. My shortcuts will be displayed at the bottom of the screen, and here's a key to the symbols that you'll see. If you need a conversion to PC, you can find one at the end of this video. So here are some of the shortcuts, and it's a long list, so you may need to pause the video. So here we are in a session. We're gonna look at the pencil tool, which is considered the smart tool for MIDI because you can do just about everything that you wanna do editing wise with this one tool by adding some modifiers. So I'm gonna enter a drum loop using the pencil tool. So manually entering it with the pencil tool rather than playing it in. Some people prefer this method versus playing things in. And then I'll record a bass line in and we'll look at being able to do a little editing uh, real quickly on a bass line that was played in. So we're gonna start by uh, entering a drum loop. So we need to set a few things up before we get started. And the first thing is looking at our default duration and velocity. So this is the default duration and velocity of the notes entered with a pencil tool. So currently we have the pencil tool set to enter 16th notes and at a velocity of 80. So there's a little pencil icon up here to remind you that this is the values associated with the pencil tool. So 16th note, 80. Let's uh, enter some notes on the VI drum track here. So we're in note view. We can come over here. Let's uh, scroll down so we know where we are. Yes, we were octave one on a C and we're gonna click and enter a kick drum. Okay, so that entered a 16th note at an 80 velocity and we can check that by changing over to the velocity view. Okay, so here's our velocity stock, and if I click on it and move it a little bit, you will see in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see the velocity value for that note. So that's the note value and note velocity. Let's look at the grid next. Just make sure, remember, we can come over here, turn it on or off, and set it to the value that we want to have for the grid. I've set it to an eighth note. So let's start entering our drum loop. So I'm going to go to the velocity. I'm going to put my kick and snare in. I want them to be loud, so I'm going to set the velocity to the loudest. So I'll set that to 127. And I am in grid mode here. So my notes will snap to the grid. So let me put some notes in here, put some kick drums in on one and three. We'll start with them just on one and three. So I'm gonna click on one and three for the kick drum. There we go. So there's four bars of kick on one and three. And let's put in some snares on two and four. So just a common drum beat going on here snares on two and four there we go so i added a few more kick drums in here and you can add by just clicking you can also delete by option clicking so when i hold option here you see it flip to the pencil eraser you can also double click on notes to remove them so option uh, which will flip the pencil over to the eraser side or you can double click to erase a note so let's look at some other tools that you have uh, available to you with the pencil tool. If I hover over the end of a note, I get the trimmer tool and I can extend the end of the note. I'm in grid mode, so it's snapping to the grid there. So I entered 16th notes, but my grid is eighths. Uh, back to the pencil tool. If I hover over either the left or the right ends, I get the trimmer tool and I can extend the end or change the where the note begins. If I'm hovering over the middle, I get the grabber tool, which would allow me to move the note up or down to another note value or left or right to another uh, rhythmic position. So again, if I'm um, not hovering over a note at all, I get the pencil tool and I can write a new note. So if I'm hovering over a note, I get the grabber or at the ends, I get the trimmer. So let's look at another function of the pencil tool, really helpful one. So I'm putting together a drum loop and uh, I wanna put in a hi-hat part, uh, maybe a bunch of eighth notes, uh, and it will take me all day long. All right, maybe not all day, but it'll certainly feel like all day if I'm putting them in one at a time. So if I put the pencil tool in um, freehand mode and I click and drag, you see I just create a long note. So as I click and drag, I can extend the length of the note. However, if I go to the line tool 
and I do that same thing, just click and drag, you see it puts in a bunch of notes based on my grid. So again, in freehand mode, it's just gonna put in a long note as long as I drag it. And then these other versions basically have to do with how the velocities are written as I drag uh, across. So all these notes are being put in and how what velocities are being used for that. So if I click and drag, and I put in uh, with triangle, selected the triangle tool, and I click and drag, and there we put in a bunch of eighth notes. Now let's look at the velocities here. So let's go over to the velocities and see what happened there. So all of them were 127 because my default value was 127. So what we want to do, so let's undo this and let's uh, change that default velocity and let's see what how that changes if I draw these back in. So I'm going to click on the velocity and I'm going to enter 80. So enter 80, hit enter, and go back to note view. And let's enter some enter these notes again. So click and drag. Okay. And let go. And let's go back to velocities. And look at that. So it's, they were put in. The velocities are oscillating up and down in a triangle shape. Okay. And again, they're, they're going between 127 and 80. So that's pretty handy, huh? So let's undo and let's look at some of the other tools. So we'll go back to note view because this you have to be in note view for this to work. And let's go to the pencil tool and I'm going to select, um, let's go to square. I use this one a lot for hi-hats and other percussion just to give a nice little variation between the hits. So I'm going to click and drag and it's going to oscillate between 80 and 127. So I click and drag, we get all those notes. We're going to go into velocity view and see how now, look at the ones that are highlighted white, are oscillating between basically 80 and 127. So writing them like this, you can see that the downbeat is quieter and the upbeat is louder. And that's not how I like it oftentimes. So what I'll do is I'll start off the grid by one value. And if we go into velocity view, you can see how now the upbeat has the quieter hit and the downbeat has the louder hit. And then I will just copy a downbeat uh, to the empty spot at the beginning. So I can hold, I click, and then I hold option and I drag it over. And then I'll just delete the one at the end and let's see what we have now. So again, the square version basically fluctuates between a loud and a quiet. So our default value sets our low value and the top one will be 127. So let's look at again, how about random real quick. Let's see what happens in random. So go into note view, click and drag, and let's go back to velocity view. And we can see that those velocities are just randomized between 80 and 127. So let's look at some of the other things you have access to. If you hold down option, you get the range selector, which will select all notes from lowest to highest within the selected range. So a way to select all of the notes from lowest to highest. You don't have to be seeing all of them by holding down option. If you hold down control, you get the marquee selector which allows you to kind of draw a lasso around different notes that you want to choose if you hold shift while you're doing this you can add to a selection so you can select non-contiguous notes with the control so option gets you the range selector and control gets you the marquee selector okay so let's move on so another tool that you have access to is the separator and heal tool or consolidate so by holding control and shift you can separate a note when it where it's not separated so holding control and shift you see me slicing those apart and holding control and shift and hovering over a separation i can heal that separation or consolidate the note so let's look at one last tool and that is the velocity trimmer tool, which I access by holding down command when I hover over a note. So if I hold command and hover the note, you see the trimmer pops up and I can click and drag and in the upper left hand corner of the edit window, you will see the velocity show up. So I hold command and I click and you see the velocity and I can set the velocity of notes by clicking and dragging on those notes. So let's review. 
With the pencil tool hovering over the middle, I get the grabber and allows me to change the note value or move it left to right. I can grab the end and it becomes the trimmer tool. If I hold command while I'm trimming, it'll clutch out of grid mode so I can move it by non-grid amounts. If I don't hold command, it's moving it by grid. So I can trim from either end. If I hold option, I get the eraser and I can delete a note and I can hold command and I can alter the velocity and you see it in the upper left hand corner. So again, holding command, if I click on a note, you can see the velocity there. And if I hold option, I get the range selector. I can select a range of notes. And if I hold control, I get the marquee selector. And by holding control and shift, I get the separator or consolidate tools. So there you go, the power of the pencil tool. See you next time.